everyone. This is Victory in the workshop. Today we have some big heavy duty, which is ready in the workshop. The profile is U pearling. The thickness is up to eight millimeter, and this kind of the material is high strength, which is used for some particular system. This is the profile U pearling. And the thickness is up to eight millimeter. Let's check by. This is the material, which is up to eight millimeter. It's U pearling. Somehow this is very super heavy duty line, which is transferred by gear box and hydraulic cutting die control panel, and this is the. Product, which is made from our testing, and I gonna to show you the machine how we fabricate it. This is hydraulic pump, and this one somehow it's the uh, civil punching unit. Later we will check. Right now we will check the forming machine. This is after forming the almost the last ste steps. These two units of the roller, which is used for regular the U pearling shape, so we can check how big of the roller it is. The line has combined the A sixteen rolling stations. Sixteen rolling stations, and from almost about the. From the 12, we add this sort of the side roller, which will help to regulate the U shape, U pearling, and the system is coupled with cooling, recycling system, because during the forming there will be a lot of heating. The material will be high strength and the temperature will be very higher. So we have to use this sort of the cooling system. And this kind of the casting pillar stand, this kind of the pillar is made from casting, which means this unit, this T-block unit, let's check. This T-block unit, This T-block unit is made from casting. Its integrated structure is not by welding or something. And this inside will be well machined. You can touch the surface. This surface will be mounted with the roller bearing, heavy duty roller bearing. bearing. The and feeding this. and the leveling unit, we have applied for seven roller. Up is three roller, down is four piece of the roller. This unit is made for leveling, and these two roller and these two pieces of roller, or we call it like two units of the roller, is used for feeding the material, and this is feeding guide. So, in the input area, we will have the feeding guide. And the wall units of the leveling is seven roller of leveling unit together with two units of the clamping roller. So this is the coil material which we gonna test in the machine. This is coil, eight millimeter thickness coil, and we can check the label. The material somehow is stainless hot rod stainless three zero four. The material is stainless, and the brand is three zero four. The thickness is eight millimeter. The width of the coil is two hundred forty forty four. 
This material is coming from our Wuxi local supplier and we will use this kind of the coil material for casting the machine. This is the input array for the machine. And here we have something is under fabrication, especially for this sort of the inserts device and the heavy duty decoller. So from here, I'm gonna to show you how we make the machine fabric. This sort of the gap box is also made from casting. Up and down is made from it integrated the gap box. And one stand, we have one independent gear, gear box. Each roller stand, we have one unit of the box. And uh, from this side, you will see, from each side, we have some regular or the vertical roller to regular the forming shape. And this is sort of the motor power, how we united to the gearbox. Let's check the power. The power is 110. Let's check the label. It's 110 kW. Here is the power. 110 kW, it's the motor power. And this is sort of the reducer. This cabinet is used for control the completely line, like a central cabinet. And even it's mounted with remote, will be easily for the operation. And uh, to regulate the cable, we use this sort of the cable tree from the main cabinet to the control cabinet. So this is the whole view of this 8 millimeter U-Perlin machine. And to make the punch, and we have this sort of the punching machine. It's driven by civil. This sort of the solution, somehow it can sa sa save on the cost. This is the rail for moving the u purling material on the rail. And uh, suppose the maximum of the u purling is 6 mm. So this platform will be good enough to make the punching. This unit of the machine is to make the punch. And this part, this part of the machine is used to clamp or the, to reset the position on the punching machine. It's servo motor. And this is the grade, T-grade rail. So this is the punching, servo punch machine for u purling and this is the completely forming machine for u purling This is the whole view of the line. So once you have this kind of the high seeker or the thickness is too much higher, like six millimeter, eight millimeter, 10 millimeter, even up to 12 millimeter, we can do the machine for you. We have the solution.